Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your smartphone with your Emotion M25. Depending on your smartphone, you need to download the M25 Mobility app in the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. Open the App Store and type in Emotion M25. Then download the Emotion Mobility app. Open the app. Accept all the privacy settings. Bluetooth, location, and confirm you read the user manual. Let's go. Our first step to connect our smartphone with our Emotion M25 is we start the Emotion app and we turn on both wheels, left side and right side. On the right upper corner, there is the Bluetooth chain. So press here and all the available devices will be shown. Choose your Emotion M25 wheels, press OK, and now the connection will be established. Now you need to scan via your phone the barcodes on the wheels. So first left wheel, and then your right wheel, Then the connection will be established and you have to sign a own four digit pin. In my case, one, two, three, four, okay. You have to repeat this pin, one, two, three, four, okay. And when you can see the battery level of your left and your right wheel, then your connection is completely established. And now let's take a closer look at the Emotion M25 app features. On your home screen, you have more information, total distance of the wheelchair, the current speed you're driving, or you can choose another driving profile. Therefore, just press on standard, and then all driving profiles are shown. If you want to have more information for a driving profile, just press on the info button at the edge of your display. On the next tab in your cockpit, you can see your current speed, the average speed, or the maximum speed. Also, there's shown trip altitude difference, calorie consumption, push counter, trip difference, distance, altitude difference, and so on. And also, you can see information about the traveling time. On the next tab, there you'll find the additional options you can buy. The test month is for free, so if you press start here, then you have one month free for testing. After that month, you can buy the options singly. So the options are speed, where you can get up your wheelchair from 6 to 8.5 kilometers per hour, remote, which is the remote control of your wheelchair, ECS, so electronic control system functions, the cruise mode, or a navi system, and a push counter. You are also able to buy the completely Mobility Plus package for $299.99. This price may vary in your region. Also in the menu on the left upper right corner, we find travel. Under travel functions, there is the flight mode where you can activate the flight mode for your wheel. You can prepare the battery for storage or prepare the battery for air transport. So now let's have a closer look at the chargeable additional options you can buy in the Emotion M25 app. For example, if you bought the cruise mode function, then press on menu, cruise, and then the cruise mode will open. There you can activate or deactivate the cruise mode. The cruise mode works very easy. So it works like this, activate cruise mode, and then one push into your push rims. If you reach more than two kilometers per hour, then this will be the current driving speed of the wheelchair. When you reach the speed of two kilometers per hour, you're able to press plus and minus where you can speed up till 8.5 kilometers per hour maximum, or you can speed down. One click equals 0.1 kilometers per hour.
So our next function is the remote function. If we choose the remote function, we need to deactivate the cruise mode. It's not allowed to sit in the wheelchair while driving remote. Accept this. And now we need our four digits pin. In my case, one, two, three, four. Okay. And now we are able to use the remote function. You can use the remote function via joystick or via motion movement. Next function is Easy Navi, which just works like a normal navigation system. You can choose your destination, in our case, Arbo, and then you can plan your route. Getting back to menu, we also find information about your product, what to do if, and so on, and you will find settings. If you bought the ECS function, you will find this under cockpit. And the last tab is your ECS function, where you can turn on and off the emotion, where you can choose your assist level, one, the slower assist level, two, a little bit faster, and where you can activate the rollback delay function. If rollback delay is activated, it makes it easier to ride on slopes and ramps. For further information, check your user manual.